Welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Samus Returns. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester, with the Niskel. And we're here at Area 6. This is certainly a unique area. I, I like this one, too. Is it because of all the purple? Well, it's, it, it's always purple to start out with. It's just the, the smog of purple drink. I think that's nobody another, took down. I think that's another thing that this game would have benefited from. Environmental things. Like, there, there's one thing in Area 3 where you, you, you jump on some crystals and it, like, breaks apart a little bit, opens up some things. Mm. That's neat, but I would like more environmental stuff. Like, landslides and rain that affects some of your things. Or, like, like, special acid rain that actually hurts. Breath of the Wild, this bitch. <laughs> no spider ball if it's raining. Oh, God, that sucks. You know, somebody actually pointed out to me, and I, I don't know how to take this. The one thing, the singular thing that Genshin Impact has over Breath of the Wild is the fact that there is no sliding when rain. That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's the only thing it has. The only thing. Good good story, huh? Don't got that. Uh, in, in, engaging gameplay, huh? I don't really have that too much. Uh, the characters that you're going to remember forever? Huh? I don't remember anybody from Genshin Impact. Well, you don't remember... Everyone's favorite wife, whoever you name them as. I am not a believer of Genshin Impact. I gave it a try. One. I, I gave it a try, and it just didn't work. Yeah, there was only one Metroid in this section. Is it a big boy? Just one. Big boy? Just the one. Biggest. Just the one. Biggest boy? Just the one. So that's how they're going to extend this game, is like, oh, you only have one Metroid in this section. Tee hee hee hee. <laughs> There's only five left after that! Only five. Well, actually, uh, counting the, the, the Queen Metroid. Dude, spoilers! Well, I mean, hey, you already mentioned her, you mentioned her by name last episode, so. <laughs> and besides, this is a remake of a whatever-year-old game, so. That must mean it's about 30 years old. And I feel decrepit. <laughs> you know, somebody actually brought to my attention that games I remember buying myself like for the first time after getting allowances were having big milestone birthdays this year Luigi's Mansion is 20 years old hey there's a super hey what no no wait we need the oh no oh that digging asshole come on good job suck bot Ugh. Oh well. That was the power bomb. That was the power bomb. He, he stole the power bomb. He knew exactly which one to steal. The one where we literally can't get any others unless we have the item itself. Yes, th this game is very much like the other Metroids where uh, you need the power bomb to get the power bomb upgrades. So I think it just kicked in that at the time of this recording, Metroid Dread is almost out. And it, I'm actually hyped for it. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm... I've already cleared a space in my uh, Switch uh, case here. Oh, yeah? yeah? Just for dread? Yeah, 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 check it. Uh, I, I have uh, this this uh, carrying case for my Switch that has, like, what, fucking 20 games you can carry in it? Uh-huh. And I have a space reserved already for is. it. There it is. Yep, there it is. But why would you need that space? Because it's going to be in your Switch all the time. Well, I, uh, th there's a game already in my Switch that I gotta put back. What game is that? Uh, Mario Golf? Hmm. Did the Mario Golf or Monster Hunter? Oh, bring it, Metroid. Ah, eh, come on, you Zeta. I'm not afraid of you anymore. God, you're being such that. a Zeta right now. Yeah! Mm. Wah such a clean animation. Like, I want to shoot it more when it's up in the air, but it just... Alright. Oh, you. Come down oh, here. Oh, you're a fool. You're a fool, Metroid! Should have thrown some green stuff my way. And... Aw. Oh. Uh, Alright. He's hurting. Well, he's hurting a little bit. A little bit? He's crying. No, he's hurting me. Yeah, oh. He, it's, it's, he's, he's doing extensive I was, damage. I was about to say, have you ever seen a Metroid cry? Uh, well... They cry? They do now! Space Bounty Hunter comes down and just starts wrecking shop. Like what kind of cry? Is it like a... <laughs> kind of cry? Or like a... <laughs> Maybe it's like old Daffy Duck. 
Oh, that's our one singular Metroid. All right, cool. Let's go turn in and get out of here. And cue another boss fight to where we have to go and get the power bomb. What? Don't be stupid. See, I know that type of talk since we've been friends for so long. I know there's more to this. Don't be a fucking moron. Uh, well, okay, that's... Don't be an absolute idiot. I don't get that too often. O only in certain cases. You, you are right to be uh, skeptical of my speech, though. Yeah, it also doesn't help that uh, we are essentially finished with this section five minutes into it. Uh, uh, what? Can't go that way. Why not? That's full of that hurdy purple water. Oh, the gravity suit doesn't stop hurdy purple water? Oh, no. What? I mean, there's a couple things we need down here, actually. Like that. Even more missiles. Excellent. Never seen any missiles. And if you see right there, up. Oh. Ah. What do you think this is? It's an E-Tank! Ow! Ow. I need it! E-Tank! Ow, you hurt me! Alright, time for everybody's favorite thing about Metroid games is the backtracking. It's time to backtrack through all the previous segments. Gotta get some more missiles and maybe a power bomb. Uh, nothing on the way back. Uh, just... Just gotta turn in the Metroid. Mm-hmm. That's all it is! See, now I'm visualizing the monster's gonna destroy the statue, and it's just gonna... It just did! It's gonna drain the entire section. No, when you turn in the Metroid, you're not even gonna get a chance to turn it in, it's just gonna destroy everything. Don't know why, that's like, top Chozo technology. There's no way that lesser Chozo technology like that is gonna take it out. It's time to overpower the Chozo. Aww. I think we can, I think we can get in there. Yeah, we can get in there. Just get a... There it is! Yeah. Ha! <laughs> ah! Ow. Burn, burning! Fucking... It's just, sorry, I got the thing on. Burning, 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 fucking burning. Ow, ow, this hurts. I think this would be a lot harder if I uh, didn't have all the Aeon tank upgrades, which I think are the probably the most out-of-the-way upgrades to get. Oh, it's just so nice to just, just take him out like that. I have a question for you, audience. Legit question. In games like this, Metroidvanias, Metroid games themselves, do you go for 100%? I'm curious. Or do you just play the game? Like, is that impulse there to where you want to collect everything and be the best Samus you can be? Or Alucard, whoever you want to be? Or do you just want to play the game and finish it? My philosophy? Play the game first. Or maybe get, you know, as far as I can. And if I need those collectibles, I play it over doing that. So, any percent the first time, 100% afterwards. And there's our, there's our one Metroid. Look at the screen. Oh. The water shifted. Huh. We're not done here yet. No. Okay. I see your stunned silence. Yeah. Now you don't know what's going on. It's still around here. Is it? Oh my god. Ah. 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 Ooh. Ooh, Mercury Steam. Ooh. You think you clever, do you? Who do you think you are? There. Go, go. All right, now go, we go, go up here. I keep thinking those are timed for some reason. No, no, not all of them are timed. Like if, if if they're timed, you'll know. Oh wait, the pole blocks? No, they're oh they once they're gone, they're gone. Ah. Another singular Metroid. Probably for from some other Zeta. Probably. But it's basically just going through that inaccessible area. A couple more uh Yeah, there's a, there's an upgrade or two we can get while we're here. Samus has had just about enough killing Zetas. Tune in next week for Metroid Samus Returns as she takes down another Zeta and complains the whole time. This is why there has never been a Metroid sitcom. Ever. Why would there be a Metroid sitcom? Here's a thought for you. A Metroid sitcom? No! No. 
No, 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 no. I'm not talking about that. <laughs> there are a lot of video games these days that are getting adaptations, whether it be in movies, whether it be in TV shows. Do you think a, let's say... Hmm. See, you can go either way. You can go animation for more stylized approach, or you can go live action for, you know, make her more human. I think Metroid would benefit from either. You think so? Both have the yeah, both have their strengths and their weaknesses. I mean, if it's animated, sure, it'll be more stylish and colorful, but I think it'll be, you know, it won't be as taken seriously as, as live action. But if it's live action, it could be fucking boring. I don't know. I'm still thinking back to the animated Castlevania show, and that was really good. Yeah, I, but I am out. Even though it's a even though it's about Metroidvania, that's Castlevania. It's a different feel, a different setting, a diff different everything than Metroid is. Now, what if uh, let's say we have a show based off Zero Mission, but they include the manga stuff too? That'd but be that'd be cool. We lead into Zero Mission. I feel like that they would never cast a good Samus. Hmm. You would have you have people that look the part, but they can't act. You have people that act, but they can't look the part. They'll, they'll make her look too old, they'll, they'll tone down her, uh, her personality, so that way people don't get upset. Hmm. Who would you cast? Who would I cast as Samus Aaron? Yeah. Huh. You know, Brie Larson. Interesting choice. She already looks the part. <laughs> she, she, I mean, she's already a super-powered, awesome, you know, space hero, so... She, she wouldn't have to try hard to, to match the role. Add more to the repertoire. Then even though she's supposed to be deadpan- Yeah, she's only deadpan because, uh... Badass ladies in Japanese have a deadpan voice. Well, that kind of- Well, that kind of works for English, it kind of makes them sound monotonous and boring. But, but I think if you get the right people... You could make a Metroid live-action series. I mean, they tried to make a movie once. Yeah, when did that get canned? <laughs> Before Metroid Prime 3 came out, uh -huh. I bet. Uh-huh. Hey, guess what? Hey, I was right. Uh, oh! It's an Omega Metroid! Oh. Now they've got their weak point covered up by something! And they're bipedal, and they're big, and they got a tail that hurts like shit! Oh, oh no! I like this. Oh, Narg! He's gonna rock you. Alright, now kill the thing. I still like this better than the beta metric. Ah. Oh, I hate that move. Yeah, that's mean. That does a shit ton of damage if you get hit with that. That- mm. he's, he's got a lock-on laser beam. Jesus, that did a whole E-tank! Yeah, he- he hurts a lot. Oh, no! A, a lot of the direct attacks hurt a lot. Uh, yeah, definitely. But if you shoot him in the face enough, that'll come undone. Oh, I thought you were shooting, like, his shielded bit. He'll do- that... he'll do this, and you gotta roll underneath when he does that. Oh, that's neat! Yeah. Oh, 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 no. oh, it's a close-range attack! He doesn't actually lunge after you, he just, like, tries to bite you? I think he's got this grab move, too, that really fucks you up. It's either that or another enemy I'm thinking of that does that. Well, good! Standard level progression. They gave you the plasma beam so you could get this fucker. There's five Metroids left. And now they've added Omegas to the mix. And he covered up his healing point again. Yes. Eventually, when you get him down low enough, it'll stay exposed. This is just good design, I think. <laughs> He's fucking barfing fire! <laughs> God, those chilies aren't, aren't dealing well with me! I wonder where the electricity went. Or why the fire suddenly became a thing. Like, hmm. does it start as electricity and then turns to fire? Maybe that's just his fuel. Well, I can oh! Whoa! He locks on! Now this guy isn't tra changing color yet. I got I got to step it up. Where are your super missiles at? I'm saving for when I actually get that melee counter. I see. Right here. Nope. I like noticed he he, he, he he does something with his face, and he's usually exposed when he does it too. And right here. I think right here. Yeah, right here. Fuck off. Oh. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. 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 Oh. Boom! 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 I thought she was gonna do like a wrestling move on him. <laughs> she basically did. Yeah, fuck off, Jabroni. <laughs> oh, I think you can actually stay like directly underneath him, 
and attack. Oh no, he, he, does he, he, he will like Lay jump, it. swipe his tail, swipe his claws. No, 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 I mean like when he's doing the laser, the whole room laser, like this one. I like you're getting pot shots in. Oh, okay, he he does go directly between Whoa. his legs. That was close. That takes like almost two E tanks if he does that. Good God! Yeah, get it. Yeah! Get, yeah! Take that, you stupid abomination of evolution. You dingus. Well said. Could have said it better myself. Ya dingus. Because that's what you are. Ya dingus. Let's just get him with grade school insults. <laughs> Poopy head. You big old dum dum. I wonder how he deals with your mama jokes. Your mama's so dumb, I'm about to kill her. With my gun. Your mom is so stupid, she's still an alpha Metroid. See, I love your mama's jokes, but I cannot tell them. No, I'm, I'm really bad at them, too. It's... I, I don't think I'm... I'm... I think I'm too nice to tell them. <laughs> I'm too nice to tell your mom. It's like, your mama is a wonderful person. Your mama has an education. Wait, no. or, or if I do think of something, it's either too mean and not a joke at all. And like, your mom has a, a drug problem! <laughs> oh! <laughs> How could you? Like, you get the basic ones, like, your mama's so fat, her belt the equator, or something like that, and that's, that's too easy. Your mama's so stupid, she only orders a McDonald's. Wait, no. But, but there are, like, your mama jokes that are just... so... They, 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 you know, they're, 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 they're tight, they're well put together, it's wordplay, it's clever, it's beautiful! Like your mama. Like your... <laughs> Aww. Wholesome. Actually, people in the comments, come up with wholesome Yo Mama jokes. I want to see them. I will show them to my actual mother. <laughs> you heard it here. He's gonna, he's gonna show the Yo Mama jokes you tell in the comments to his actual mother. Mm -hmm. You make her cry, you die. You make her laugh, you well, also die. You also die. It's, it's, it's kind of screwed. Maybe mm -hmm. don't do it. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, now that we added that uh, last Metroid, the w the purple hurdy water has drained completely, so we can move on. Hmm. But where though? Oh, we haven't been here yet, have we? Yeah. I mean, there, no, there we, is a... we've been here. Well, if you look at the map, we've been here, but eventually we're getting to places that we haven't been yet. Ah. Places that we couldn't reach because it was covered in in crap. Ouchy hurdy water. Ouchy hurdy water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The big dum dum allowed us to move on for the big ouchy hurdy water. Oh, that up, that's good. And other that's great sweet. school insults. All right, here we go. Start going this way now. Ah, no more hurdy water. Hurdy water is gone from here. Hurdy water hurt no more. Hurdy water was a bore. Ooh, okay, got a got a thing here. Check it. And boom. Got blow that up, right? And. What? what? I hate these stupid things. I know. So do time shift, hop on up, and there you go. Perfect. Everybody happy. Everybody, Everybody happy. Steve's a movie. I hate these things. If you ever are confused about how to kill an enemy, Everything's fire it. Everything's color coded. So if you're shooting something, oh, interesting, and it it just won't die, but it keeps turning yellow. That means you got to use a rapid fire. I didn't even catch that. Th those mechanical things that spew fire. Yeah, yeah. If, if they're green, they're good with either the plasma beam or a super missile. Huh. I, oh, oh. Just simple color coding. That's that's uh, good design from good people. I didn't even notice. That's neat. What do you think Samus's victory anthem is? Like after she blows up another planet, do you think she like turns on the playlist to celebrate good times? Come on. Hmm. Maybe we are the champions. For some reason I don't think it'd be like that stereotypical. Or that overused. Maybe like that one rap song that goes, ah, am number one. <laughs> I think I got a great rap song that goes like that, it goes, NUMBER ONE! Another one. <laughs> DJ Khaled and Samus Aran. Maybe she just goes, Metroid, Metroid. 
destroyed another planet. Metroid, Metroid. Metroid, Metroid. Another one! Metroid, Metroid, Metroid. Metroid, Metroid. Another one. Metroid, 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 Metroid. Alright, DJ Khaled, you're done. No more crossovers for you. <laughs> Eh, 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 okay. Everything's breaking. I think these all break. Everything's oh, no! breaking. Everything's breaking like my heart. Is uh, that? Is that? Oh, no, wait. I missed, I missed something. Did you now? Did something here. Oh, it's really? like right there. Oh, wow. That's a good hiding spot. Yeah, it is. Don't think to look there. <laughs> then you look at your map and go, wait a second, I missed something. Yeah, maneuverability's gotten so much better since you get the space jump and the screw attack and the gravity beam. You don't gotta worry about the me the melee counters all the time. It's just all good stuff. Ah, not good stuff. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, no, no. This game sucks. You got too cocky. You hate to see it. So. I, I, I turn off the face shift too soon. Fell through more blocks, Metroid, Metroid. You don't even need to walk on those. Well, no, but you'll get hit, eventually, maybe, and then you'll fall back down, and then when that happens, you'll fall through. And when you come, when you come back, you're gonna have to kill those enemies again, so... Constantly killing enemies, Metroid, Metroid. <laughs> Into the hurdy plants, Metroid, Metroid. Ow, 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 ow. There's a missile upgrade around here, Metroid, Metroid. Does it really hurt me? Federation Force, yeah, Federation yes, Force. <laughs> there it is. There we go. It's times like these where I feel like, oh, we're wrapping up. And then I, then I remember, four Metroids left, no power bombs. A.K.A. We still got a bit to go. And we haven't even found the the, the the baby Metroid yet to clear all those other rocks, so we sit, we're, we're not done yet. Baby. You, 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 you just sit sit tight. Not, a, not over yet. Duh! Really? Oh, Ooh, and then okay. that. And then, and then, then the, now, dude. Yeah, there, there you go, go okay. buddy. Yeah, all right, all you right. You did it! Yeah, huh? You are Metroid Master! Metroid, Metroid! Figuring out puzzles! Metroid, Metroid! Metroid. Metroid. Doing it all in one take, Metroid, Metroid. Oh, please. <laughs> he grasped God for dear life. Metroid, Metroid. 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 Existential Dread! <laughs> Metroid, 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 Metroid. Yeah, maybe that was the original title for Metroid 5. Existential Dread. Apparently it's always been Dread. They, they, they tried to make it for so many years. Like, it started on, like, the DS back in, like, 2005. Hey, yeah, and that's when it, unfortunately, just vanished. I forgot why they, they didn't do it, though. Like, just wasn't up to snuff. That seems to happen a lot in these Metroid games, where they make it and go, Eh, this sucks, they scrap it. Well, I think at that point it got shadow cancelled. Because it was... I don't think it was close, but it was at least good enough to start showing off at shows. Well, look what happened to, uh, to, uh, fucking, uh, Metroid Prime 4. They had no problem restarting the whole thing on that one, getting the people who are actually involved in it. Thinking how bad must it have been that they had to do that. I could just imagine one guy on the team said, Should we make Samus talk? Yeah, we need to scrap this and start all over again. <laughs> Don't make her say it. What if we made a follow-up to Other M and... What do you mean, fired? Uh, there's a certain way we gotta go here. It's... Yeah, uh, it's, it's confusing. Actually, with... With all these advertisements that have been showing up... And how much Nintendo is pushing this game... It's... Almost sounds like a gamble. But I don't think it should be. I think they're putting everything they have into this... Finale of the Metroid series. Who's the best-selling game on Amazon? That's what it's. That's I think it's. Insane. I think it's going to be the best-selling Metroid game ever. The Metroid games famously do not sell great at all. That's so sad, though. Like I think Prime was was one of the best sellers, maybe Fusion, but. All right, here, here we go. Get those power bombs back. We got to face a little boss first. Except he ain't so little. Hello, 
My name is Emmy. Nope, this is Diggernaut! I beg your pardon? Diggernaut! Like astronaut, but he digs, so he's a digger not. Oh, I thought you were asking me a question. Do you want to dig or not? I, I don't feel I, like digging. I'd rather honest. not, nah. Well, those are his big glowing uh, hit points. So this is all about pattern recognition, basically. Hmm. He, this is a multi-stage boss fight. No checkpoints in between. You do, well, you, you... You better be prepared for you, Metroid Metroid. You, you better get good. How good are you? Well, here's a... Well, that's rude. I, I know, right? This is where you just shoot his face a whole bunch. Oh, so his face is the weak point? Yes. I thought it was the pink things in the diggers. Like I said, it's a multi-stage boss fight. Oh. It will eventually be the hit, the weak point. Yeah, we got one more to go. And now he's dropping all these purple things. The, 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 the hurdy purple water that I can shoot now. Okay. Hey, it's giving you stuff back. Might as well take it. Yeah, I don't know why he's doing like that little wavy thing yeah. on top, top, up top there. Like, wouldn't it be make? Would it make more sense if he just like you know, <laughs> just maybe went back and forth all the time? He's practicing to be a hairdresser. It's like, oh, let me let me do something for your hair here. So you shoot him in the face enough, oh. he, he gets like that. And you have to basically get the timing right to go up these, and you gotta wait until those drop down, and then drop a bomb there, and then, Kablooey! Oh. Oh, that one's still working. Okay. Yep. So we gotta get the other one. Now he's firing lasers at us. Oh, I like this. Ow! Ow! Oh, that did a little bit of damage. Not, not too much. That's because I got the, I got this on. Oh, then he does this. The Trying to suck you in, and you could ju jump suck. over him, and sp but uh, you could just spider ball and just drop morph ball bombs. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's clever. Oh, that is so clever. If I had a power bomb, I could just well, well. Okay, well, let's not get crazy here. Now he's got three. I mean, power bombs—they're not even in this game. <laughs> I mean, I have. Those are seen dangerous. One. Those. <laughs> they could hurt a human. You could hurt somebody, Samus. You're not allowed to use your power bombs, okay, young lady? I mean, that's why he said not to use it because it can vaporize humans instantly. And isn't that fun. the point, dipshit? Why we use them in Super Metroid, for God's sake? Ah! You and I wish they'd bring back... The Crystal Flash. Oh, Crystal Flash was cool! The Crystal Flash, for those not in the know, is a special move that is Super Metroid and a manga thing only. Where... We'll, we'll show you how to do it in Super Metroid. It's actually really neat. Unless if I'm good, in which I won't. You need to have less than 30 health. Yeah. 10 missiles. Mm -hmm. 10 super missiles. And 11 power bombs. Well, we can do that. Just waste stuff, get hit in a room, and just show off crystal flashes. It's supposed to be a way to like heal yourself, but it's like very dangerous too. I, I, like, there's a manga that gives some exposition into Samus's lore while she's doing this crystal flash. You basically have to be dying. If you're not, just it, it could it, it could kill you. It could kill you. Yes. I'm down for it. All right, we're not done yet, though. Now his uh, things have shock waves, and oh, I thought I died, but that is an example of the Aeon uh, reserve tank being used. Hmm. The game just stops, and then it refills it. You're all going to die down here. <laughs> that is someone who I would not want to see play Samus Aran, Mila Jovovich. <laughs> Yeah, because then she'd get naked. No, because then that would mean that the re the director of the Metro movie would be Paul W. S. Anderson. Yep, he's already got a Capcom is property. Not fucking happening. He's got multiple Capcom properties. All right, do that enough, and he'll start doing this. But uh, you have to you have to line it up just right, like so. And he'll electrify his ah, face okay. to kick you off of it. Couldn't you technically still use your Aeon protective thing. I'm pretty sure it would kick me off. Oh, really? It, it, it would uh, take the reduced damage, but it would just, you know, hey, get off. Opposing polarity. This is an example of pattern recognition. It's time to not die to these big, hurdy lasers. Took me like eight tries to kill him in hard mode. Oh, that's all. Because he's super hurdy. 
Well, I should hope so. I hope he's not just, like, giving you a bouquet of flowers and being like, oh, it's okay. Well, he's gonna give me something. A power bomb! Well, that's better than a bouquet of flowers. Quickly kill this thing. Yeah. There we go. Now... All right. Last one. Gotta wait for it to line up perfectly, because I could do that, but he's elect electrified and it's already passed. I gotta wait. I gotta wait. One more. Uh, one more. Uh, jump up there. Jump. Go! Go, there. go, 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 go. Dead! <laughs> so I never got an answer to the question, do you want to dig or not? Uh, but we can't now because he's dead. Uh oh, well, that's not nice. I can dig it. Ready for some badass Samus moments here? Absolutely. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> that's my girl! Yeah! Now so blow that thing up. There is the power bomb. And the game, I, they, they really want to say the power bomb is the strongest thing that Samus has. Like they, they they hype it up in other M. It it it's basically crucial in Super Metroid. So how do they show it off here? Well, this thing's in the way. Drop the power bomb. Destroyed. Deatomized, more like it. God. If, if we had the power bomb coming in, we probably could have taken him out with a single power bomb. I love that idea. And I want to show you something cool. Hey, there, Sequence breakers. Shine sparking is not in this game. You know what is though? Oh, boost ball. Bomb sparking. Oh my god. You, you you go into spider ball, drop a power bomb, and you hold on, then you'll be launched forward in whatever direction you're in. That's cool. Ball sparking, I think it's called. Ah, uh, it's it's beautiful. P power bomb is that that's a happy item. Which means that we are now fully powered. Oh, oh, <laughs> that you love to see it. It's great. The flash of light, thousands of lives lost. All right, this next area is going to be the final bastion before we get to the uh, the hive. I guess you'd call it. Nice. Wait, so there's only like four Metroids at the hive? There is only one Metroid at the Hive. Must be the Queen. Must be. Is there are three in the next one. Okay. Now, honestly, when you started, like, spider-balling onto the save point, I thought you were going to show off the clip. <laughs> I don't think it ever got patched. What clip? So, um, I've seen a Samus Returns speedrun. This guy... Uh, apparently, there is a clip that you can do at save points where you basically spider ball onto the button, and if done correctly, you go through the button and into the floor. Mm -hmm. And that's how you get farther along in stages before you're supposed to, like getting power bombs early. Oh, the sequence breaking nutters. I love it. Oh, hey, look, a place to use a power bomb. So, um, while backtracking, you'll be pleased to know that uh, a lot of puzzles become way easier because of the power bomb. Imagine that. Such as uh, this one right here. We could we could do that. We could just drop a power bomb and then just fire a super missile. But like you know the ones where it's like, oh you can't you can't come this way because there's there's a, a fan blowing and it'll just suck up all of your all of your bombs. <laughs> so you just blow it up. You drop a nearby power bomb and it takes care of all that no Hell problem. Hell yeah. Just do that. Alright, so here's what you do. Blip blip. That and then do that. And then quickly, 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 fire the thing! Alright. The super missile doesn't go, or uh, stays away. The power, the, bleh. The, the, the morph ball bombs do not. Yes. There's too many bombs in here. Do you think Samus goes mad with power bombs? I feel like she understands the gravity of, of power bombs. Because she's in the gravity suit. But I don't think she would abuse <laughs> I don't think she would abuse them. But if you're asking for my uh, insane characterization of her, oh she definitely just she's like, whoa! Yeah! Alright! Explosions everywhere. 
craters everywhere. Well, next time on Metroid Samus Returns, the final few Metroids before we get into the Queen. See you next time.